Hey guys and welcome to another very exciting Premiere Pro tutorial. In my last two Premiere tutorials I covered the basics of how to use the software and I showed you some of the advanced editing tools to make it easier for you to edit together your film project. Once you're done editing you will likely want to add some visual candy to spice up your film project. The most fundamental candy that you can easily add in Premiere Pro are titles. Titles are custom overlays containing any number of text or shape elements that you can create and animate to come in and out of your video in any way you want. There are a lot of cool things that you can do with titles and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create, customize and animate titles in Adobe Premiere Pro. As you have probably guessed this is going to be a beginner tutorial but I will assume that you have a basic understanding of how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. If you don't, I recommend checking out my absolute beginner tutorial for Premiere Pro first. But now, before we get clobbered by all of these titles, let's jump right into the tutorial. Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and the sequence we will be working with is the sequence that we've created for my absolute beginner tutorial. For those of you who have been wondering how I got this cool grey-blue interface, um, I'm simply running the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015, so once you upgrade, you'll get the new interface style as well. I know I have already shown this in my absolute beginner tutorial, but let's start out by creating a very simple title. At the very bottom of your project panel, you will find the new item icon. Click on this icon and then select Title. Give your title a useful name so you can identify it again and then simply hit OK. Premiere Pro will pop up the title editor. This is the interface that you use to create and customize your title to add text elements and shapes and style everything the way you want before you integrate them into your sequence. On the left side of the interface you will find the tools panel. This contains all of the tools you need to create text and shape elements as well as align them and lay them out on your title. Over on the right hand side you will find all of the properties for the currently selected element. This is where you can style text and shape elements and add different effects to them. At the top of the interface you will find some text properties. These are only available once you have a text element selected and let you change things like the styling, the font, the size and all sorts of other text properties. At the very bottom of the interface you will find some preset styles that you can easily apply to any elements that you've added to your title. And right in the middle you will find the preview window. Now, one important thing to notice is that this preview window is always being kept in sync with the preview in your main Premiere interface. So what happens is as you scroll through your sequence in your main interface, you will notice that the preview window in the title editor also gets updated. So these two always stay in sync. This makes it really easy to line up the elements of a title with a particular frame in your sequence. Let's start out by adding a very simple text element to our title. Navigate over to the left toolbar, select the type tool and then simply click into the preview window to start typing some text. Once you're done typing whatever you wanted to type, let's change over to the selection tool from the toolbar and you can now move this element around. Let's position it top left here in the corner. And the other thing I want to do because I don't quite like this font, at the very top of the title editor you will find all of the font tools. Now they're enabled. They all get disabled if you don't have the text selected, so make sure you select the text first. And let's change the font over to something a little bit more solid, um, maybe Aharoni. Yep, that looks a bit better. Let's just quickly add a line break. And let's reposition this right on the corner. Cool, that looks pretty good. Just a quick note in case you're wondering what these two strange rectangles on your title editor are for. The outer one marks the action safe area of your video and the inner one marks the title safe area. Since screens can greatly differ in their shape, in their build, in their aspect ratio and the way they display the image, the corners of your video may simply not always be visible. By placing your text inside the title safe area, the inner rectangle of the preview window, you ensure that the text will be visible even in the worst case scenarios on some really old CRT TVs. The action safe area, the outer rectangle, is a little bit less restrictive and since about 2007 most TV stations will be happy to place text elements within this area of the screen. Since all of my videos just end up on YouTube, I'm not too concerned about either area and fairly often do place my text even slightly outside of the action safe border. Once you're done creating your title, simply close down the title editor by clicking on the little X up in the top right hand corner. 
Hmm, we just created a title, but I can't actually see it in my video. That is because when you create a new title, it just gets added to your project panel. It doesn't actually get added to your sequence yet. So in the project panel, down here at the bottom, there's a new element called goggles and this is the new title we've just created. Like any visual or audio material that you have in your project, you can add it into your sequence simply by clicking, dragging and dropping it in your sequence. You may notice this is only a visual track, it doesn't actually have any audio associated to it, which isn't really surprising because it's just a text title. Bam! And there it is, there's our new title. Pretty exciting stuff. In order to edit an existing title, you can either double click on the item in your project panel or you can double click right on the item in your sequence. So let's just double click that and Premiere Pro will pop up the title editor again so you can make any further changes that you want. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can actually edit all of the properties associated with this text and all of them are going to be listed on the right side of the title editor. Note that these ones change depending on what you have selected. So if I unselect the text, you'll notice I don't have the text properties anymore. So when I reselect it, all of the text properties are visible on the right hand side again. So I get the transform, uh, fill, I can add sheens and textures. Um, let me just show you how to add a quick stroke to it. Next to the outer strokes property, simply click on add. Now you probably can't see this well just because it's a black outline and the video is pretty dark. So let's change the color over to red. I probably wouldn't do this usually, but I just want to make it a little bit more visible. And let's push up the size just so that it's really nice and clear that it's now got a red solid outline. Cool, that looks pretty fancy. Other than adding text, obviously you can also add all sorts of shapes into your title. So for example, let's add a little goggle symbol down at the bottom. Ooh, yeah, see this one's adopted all of the previous properties. So this is now giving a really huge outer stroke. So with this shape selected over on the right hand side under outer strokes, I'm just going to delete this one because I do not want this one for that shape. Let's change over to the selection tool. Control C to copy, Control V to paste it. And then let's reposition this one. And let's just use the line tool to get a little line between the two. So this is like, like a pair of goggles just underneath it. Let's go back to the selection tool and let's just select the glasses for the goggles. Now on the right hand side, you can now customize the properties and style them in any way that you want. Sometimes it's just fun to play around with a few different presets. And for that, with the shape still selected, simply click on a few of the styles down at the bottom of the interface. Um, let's find something that looks a little bit more like glasses. Hey, this is kind of cool. This is like a, like a sunny shade. And let's select the middle piece and make that black. Yep. Cool, I think that actually looks pretty good. Let's hop back to the selection tool and just reposition the goggles a little bit. Cool, that's probably as good as it goes with what little artistic skill I do have. Let's close down the title editor and our title has been updated. Now, if I go back a little bit and play my sequence, you'll notice that the title just pops in, which, well, it's, it's kind of a bit boring. Now, there are several ways that you can animate titles to come in and out of your sequence. The easiest way, because titles are just like any other visual element in your project, is to apply transitions. If we navigate to the effects panel, we can find the video transitions. Expand this little tab and you will find all of the transitions that you can apply to the beginning or the end of a clip to either fade it in and out. And we can easily apply these to our title. For example, let's just add a simple slide effect. So just select the band slide and drag it onto the beginning of your title. If we scrub back, you will now see the title animates in. And at the end, maybe we'll try the push. So let's drag the push onto the end of the title. Let go and let's play this back. And there you go, the title animates out. Now there are quite a lot of transitions for you to play with and you can create some really cool effects with them, but there is gonna come a point where you say, hmm, I'm, I'm kind of limited by what I can do with the transitions. So you may have to keyframe these animations yourself. First, let's delete these transitions that we've added. You can actually just select them in your timeline editor and hit delete to delete the transitions. Yep, so we're back to where we started. Now select the title element. In your interface, you should find the effect controls for your layer. If you can't see them like with any other panel in Premiere, just go to window. For example, here's effect controls or you know, if you're not seeing your effects or anything else, you can enable that in the window tab. So here I have the effects for my selected layer, which is my goggles title. Under video effects, let's expand the motion property and you will find it contains a position, a scale, rotation, anchor points, and a few other fancy things. 
we can actually animate any of these properties over time to make the title behave the way that we want. Let's go to the beginning of the title and let's say we wanted it to grow from 0 to 100% and appear on the screen. For that we will have to animate the scale property. In order to animate a property, go to the time where you want it to animate from and then click on this little stopwatch icon here. So next to scale, let's click on this little stopwatch icon and what it will do, uh, this is going to be a little bit hard to see, it's created a little diamond here and this indicates there's a keyframe on this property at this point in time. So what I can do is I can actually change the scale at this point where we've got the little keyframe placed down to zero. Next I can go forward, probably about a second, and then change the scale to 100. Because we have animation enabled for the scale property, Premiere Pro will automatically place another keyframe. And now in between these two keyframes it will interpolate the scale value from 0 to 100. Now it's scaling up a bit weird but that's just because our anchor point actually sits in the middle of the video so the layer kind of gets pushed out towards the top left but we can fix that up in a moment. But it scales up from 0 to 100% so we've now created some custom animation. Let's quickly change the anchor point to 0, 0 and let's also make the position 0, 0 so the title is positioned at the top left again. Now what's going to happen is actually going to grow out from the top left corner which may again not be what you want but feel free to tweak this in any way you want and you can add keyframes to all of these properties to animate your title to come in, grow, shrink, rotate or you've also got opacity here so you can kind of fade your title in and out as you want. Um, there's a lot to play with. I'm not going to go through all of it. Just know that if transitions aren't good enough for you, you can just animate any of the properties that you want yourself. Finally, and this is just to give you some ideas of what you can do in Premiere Pro with titles, I have two examples that I want to show you. In my Premiere project, I've already prepared two little examples. The first one is called Characters, so let me drag this into my sequence. Uh, let's line this up and let's play this back. Now the difference with this title is that this is actually animated character by character and unfortunately Premiere Pro does not support animating things character by character automatically. So what I have actually done, this is a sequence, so if I double click this and dig into it you can actually see how I've created my title. I have actually created one title for every character of my title and I've keyframed and animated them individually to kind of roll in and scale up and then fade back out at the end. So this is a bit tedious and there are easier ways to do this but it's going to take us into Adobe After Effects which I will cover in another video. But know that you can do this, it's just a little bit of work to animate these ones character by character to create some more fancy titles. Let's go back to the tutorial, let's delete this example and let's go to my glow title. Let's drag this in, go back a bit, let me make the preview window a little bit bigger and let's play this back. It's a bit short, let's play the whole thing back. It's just a really colorful animation with some glow and again it's actually pretty simple to create. Let me just dig into the sequence so that I can show you how I've set this up. Now Premiere Pro not only contains video transition, it actually contains quite a number of different effects that you can apply to your videos and your titles. So if I navigate to the effects panel and don't go to video transitions but I go to video effects I have different things for distortions, I've got blurs and other different stylized effects like glows and brush strokes and finding edges and I can apply these effects to my layer. So what I have here at the bottom, I just have a very simple title and I've applied a four color gradient to it and I've animated the points, the color points to kind of just move around the title and change the color of it. I also have a fast blur effect applied to it which obviously controls the blurriness of the title and I've just animated it to come from really blurry into focus and then at the end to simply just blur out again. Using effects and keyframes then gives you another layer of animation and things that you can do with your titles and if adding keyframes to existing properties of your titles isn't enough to achieve the effect that you want, maybe you need to just apply some of the inbuilt effects of Adobe Premiere to your titles and tweak them and animate them and you can create even more complex effects. Finally, and this is more just for me, I've added a second video layer which is just a little bit of blur, which is a second layer of text, it's exactly the same title, and I've layered these two, and the top one is just the glow itself. What I've done, I've actually duplicated the title and placed the two layers on top of each other, and then on the top one, 
under effects controls in the opacity, I've changed the blend mode to lighten. Now there's nothing stopping me from layering even more copies of these titles on top of each other and applying different effects to the different layers and blending them all together and create some pretty fancy titles. Now if video transitions, animating layer properties or all of the custom effects and potentially layering your titles on top of each other to create some more complex effects is not enough for you, the next step is probably going to lead you into Adobe After Effects. After Effects has a lot more control, a lot more power and a lot more complexity for what you can do with text and titles that you can then use in Adobe Premiere Pro. But that is going to be the topic of another video. And it's as easy as that. Come on, in, enough with the titles already. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, favorite it and share it with the world. And if you do want to see more cool filmmaking and visual effects tutorials, don't forget to go to youtube.com slash surface studio and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.